Hey, it doesn't look like he crawled in that way. There's no remnants of him like leaving. What's your name? What's your name? All this, all this shit. Get all that and take it all off. You guys gotta back up. You guys think he's about halfway through the road. It's hard to tell. It sounded like you I know it's traveling because you can hear the noise. One, one, of the, one of the... It does sound like it. One of the cops has not... I couldn't see him at all, though. There's sewage right there. All the sewage ones be open. Hey, stop! Come on, get up! Come on! Let's start Wake up, pal! Come on, bud! Grab the ladder right Come on! Stand up, dude. And I hit your five. Grab his waist. Uh, up. Yeah. There we go. And I made your five. Right under the gurney. Yeah, because it's there. Yeah. 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 Our pupils. Put your 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 pupils. Put
Chief, can you spell your first, your last name, and what agency, sir? Brent Faulkner, B-R-E-N-T-F-A-U-L-K-N-E-R, Anaheim Fire and Rescue, Battalion Chief. Large operation here, starting with the time, uh, where are we, what's going on? Yeah, just after 9.30 this evening, we had reports of voices coming from the storm drain, someone complaining uh, for help. Uh, PD arrived, they called us out. Um, we, it took us about an hour to extricate one male victim um, from the storm drain area. Um, and he's en route to a hospital, local hospital at this time. Talk about some of the tools you called your USAR team, HAZMAT, uh, USAR team from another agency too. That's correct. So we had our own USAR team here as well as our own HAZMAT team. We also had the assistance of Orange Fire Department USAR team as well. Uh, they were using very sophisticated instruments such as search cameras as well as sonar. Uh, we have an area here where it's very difficult to locate the person because there was lots of bends through the storm drain and the storm drain was actually a very small pipe that the victim was extricated out of. Do we know how he got down there? At this point, we don't, we don't. He was down there by himself at this time though. In and out of consciousness, right? Um, he was complaining that he was having a hard time breathing and those types of things and that he just wanted help. So I don't have any patient status as far as what the actual conditions were, um, but he was just requesting help. Um, we don't know if there's any criminal charges or anything like that. If anybody did witness anything, are they asked to call the police department? Um, yes, if they know where the, per the person entered from, anything like that, APD is, um, you know, looking into the situation to see how we can prevent it. Well. I gotta get that. Um, Chief, very difficult, especially when you can't hear too much. Uh, you guys were yelling, there's all kinds of different entry points. It's difficult for you. Yes, it is. We had approximately six different entry points that we were searching through, um, just trying to locate and pinpoint where exactly this person was trapped at the time. Uh, fortunately, we were able to find him. Like I said, it took just about an hour to locate as well as to extricate him from the sewer system. Those areas are a little bit difficult. There are tunnels and sewage and your guys, it's kind of hard to get in there, huh? That's correct. And, and just for clarification, this was a storm drain system, not the sewage system. But it is very difficult for them to access, especially since sound travels a long time underground in those systems. Um, so the first priority was to be able to locate him. Um, and then once we located him, we were able to get him out fairly quickly. Chief, you're using heavy tools to get those manhole covers off. How much does an average manhole cover? I mean, an average person can't just lift it up. Yeah, they are very heavy. Uh, we do have special tools to be able to do that. I don't know the approximate weight of one of them, but they are difficult, yes. Anything else to add? Not at this time, thank you. Any injuries to firefighters? No injuries to firefighters, and like I said, one male patient, trans adult patient transported to local hospital. Spell your first or last name. Uh, George Garcia Vargas. Spell it? J-O-R-G-E-G-A-R-C-I-A-V-A-R-G-A-S. George, what'd you hear? You were telling me you heard somebody yelling. Yes, I heard someone say help, uh, I can't breathe, and I got my concern, and I kept talking to him, count to 20 so I won't lose his voice and he, he was cooperating, but we lost signal for a while and they started speaking again. Where were you when you were trying to talk to him? Uh, right there. Right over the drainage? Yeah, I was walking by this way and he made me jump <laughs> a couple scared feet up. You, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it did. Somebody talking from underneath the ground. Uh, yeah. Uh, what'd you do after that? Uh, people started approaching me. I told them to call 911. Someone needs help. Where were you headed? I'm um, home. Came from the laundry. Through the complex here? Yeah. Um, again, uh, you just waited for uh, fire department to get on scene and you talked to them when they got here? Yes, Why? sir. Um, you don't know the person at all, right? No, sir. Now, what, um, spell your first your last name again. First name is J-O-R-G-E. Uh, middle name is G-A-R-C-I-A. And my last name is V-A-R-G-A-S. So just to phrase back, uh, you were walking, uh, yeah. and, and you just heard voices? Yes, one voice. Did you just crouch down? Um, yeah. Where the, where the uh, what, what is this here? I'm not sure, but yeah, I went on my knees and started talking to him. He, and he was communicating with you? Yes. Does it sound like it's a guy? Or a it sounds like an elderly guy. Elder guy. 